today we're going to be talking about circumferential stress corrosion cracking or CSCC. This is something that can occur both in liquid and natural gas pipelines and is not as easily detectable as axial SCC. SCC is a form of environmentally assisted cracking produced by the combined application of a corrosive environment, a tensile stress, either residual or applied, on a steel that is susceptible to SCC. SCC is typically characterized by small individual cracks adjacent to one another in an array or colony. If the cracks continue to grow, they overlap and coalesce and become the equivalent of a large single crack, and so we must treat them as such when we evaluate their effect on pipeline carrying capacity. Cracks can eventually develop large enough to cause the pipeline to leak or rupture. Most of the time when we talk about SEC, we're thinking about cracks that grow in the axial direction along the length of the pipe. CSEC is similar, but grows in a circumferential or helical direction, making it harder to detect. Because most SEC and cracks on pipelines in general are axially oriented, the majority of the crack detection tools are designed to detect these axially oriented anomalies. The same SEC triangle conditions cause CSEC as well. The difference is the predominant stress has been shifted to be circumferentially oriented. Picture your pipeline as a pool noodle. When the primary stress is only caused by internal pressure, the SEC forms axially. But if you bend your pipeline, the SEC starts to form circumferentially. Changes in pipeline conditions, such as extreme weather events, geohazards, and line settling are things that can introduce bending strength. So operators of assets in environments where these are more prevalent need to be especially wary. Our integrity engineering solutions team uses the MDS platform to collect multiple data sets in a single run. Bending strain analysis, line movement assessment, spiral MFL, high field axial MFL, and low field axial MFL are all utilized and in input into our CSCC prioritization model. Even data from prior MDS runs can be examined for CSCC. Using our original model, we've been able to show a 75% true positive success rate, and the model is continuing to be improved. If you're looking for more information on CSEC, the Integrity Engineering Solutions team here at TDW is here to help and provide ongoing advice and support.